Hi, this is Michelle from the Juvenile Rheumatoid Arthritis for Kids and Adults. I have had Juvenile Rheumatoid Arthritis since I was one years old. I was not born with it. Some kids are, some kids aren't. They grow up with it. It's also for adults as well because I'm an adult. And it's also for those that are elderly and it's also a support page for your friends, family, who need the extra support, who have questions. What it's like as a parent that has a child that goes through arthritis, how to support them, how to help them, to guide them, what meds are out there. It's also for teens and kids who have no idea that they're not alone, that there is someone out there that does have juvenile rheumatoid arthritis or any kind of arthritis disease. I encourage you to Learn all of the things that you can about arthritis, and if you learn anything, please feel free to put it on the blog and share with others. I'm here to help you go through what I go through, show you what I go through, my basic everyday aspect. I'm not a doctor, and I'm not claiming to be a doctor, but I put my meds out there so that way you are well aware that there is certain things out there that can might help relieve your pain and your suffering. Food and stuff like that and recipes that you can help eat and that way you can learn to manage. When I was growing up, there was no doctors out there that were not as educated as they are today. Always be educated and learn everything you can about arthritis. There's always new things popping up, new meds, new things. Sometimes the older stuff works, sometimes the newer stuff works. I'm here to help you to ease your pain and suffering. The pain will never go away, but it's easier to comfort it. It's like living in a prison in your own body. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but we all have to go through it. We learn from it and we support each other. I encourage you to make friends on here, on this page. And again, I am not a doctor and I'm not claiming to be a doctor. What I learn, I like to share with others. I hope you will do the same. Be free to vote to put your pictures, letters, questions, comments, share with other people that would love to learn about juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Also to help find a cure, it was, I am also part of the Arthritic Research Foundation to I donate my blood to help others to help find a cure. You can also do that as well. I will be posting that where you can. Volunteer if you would like and donate your blood so that we can find a cure for your arthritis and for mine. We are together as a family, an arthritic family. That's the way I look at it. I will continue to tell my stories and my day-to-day -day life. Right now my knees have been swollen so I've been doing mainly in my knees. So you understand and what it looks like. I know it's a pain in the butt to see nothing but my knees and my feet. But I have conquered and done all the things that the doctor said that I could not do or would not be able to do. They told me I'd be in an institution by the time I was 17. I am not in an institution or in a wheelchair, but my disease is a crippling disease. I have conquered a lot of things and lived on my own. It's not easy and it's hard work, but you have to decide whether you are going to beat it and go for your dreams, kick its ass, and yeah, there are times where arthritis is going to kick your ass. But the point of it is, is you have to get back up on its horse and beat it. You have to be the fighter and you have to be willing to fight back. It's not easy to fight arthritis and to live every day in this pain. Your family and friends may not understand what you go through. This is another reason why I put this blog up and this page up. For others to understand what you go through, that you are not alone. Any questions, feel free to ask. Leave me a message or whole nine, nine yards and message me. You can call me as well. My phone number is on here and my email information you can find also on the page. So be free, have fun, and learn everything you can. I am working on the recipe album and getting everything up and running. I'm sorry it's taking me a while but I'd rather you learn the information first and get all everything that I've learned. What works for me may not work for you, but you, what works for you or what may not work for you may also might work for me. Things that you have learned, well, I would love to hear and share with me. 
we are a team. There is no I in arthritis, where I thought as a grown up that I was the only one that had it going through school. Peer pressure, things like that, I have dealt with being different. What it's like having this arthritis and knowing that you have to fight the fight and others do not. Going through the school and limping when others do not and not understand it. How to have the courage to go on and be try to live a normal life is hard to do. But we all can do it at one day at a time, one minute at a time, one step at a time. Sometimes we will get knocked down to, to learning how to rewalk again. I have learned how to rewalk six times and still probably will get knocked down a thousand more times and learn how to walk all over again. I will teach you physical therapy moves and I, what I learn is I look on YouTube and I study. I study what I learn, I look up books, I learn the anatomy. I learn my blood type and I learn everything I can about me because the best doctor that I can be is me. I ask questions to my doctors and I'm not afraid. Do not be afraid to ask questions and learn and bring up new meds and see where it is best for you. I hope you have fun with this page and learn a lot as I will teach you what I know. That is, I feel that is my purpose here on this earth is to teach you what I, need, what I can learn and hope that you can learn from me one day at a time, one step at a time. Thank you for enjoying my page and sharing with others. Thank you for listening to me and may God bless you as he has blessed me. Have a blessed day.